We have our next uh, honorees now. They are Select Energy for Energy Solutions. And uh, we're gonna hear a little bit about them in a testimonial first from Ruth Bennett from Tufts University. Ruth, are you there? Yes. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. Um, hi, so I'm Ruthie Bennett. I'm the Director of Strategic Capital Programs at Tufts University. And um, I'm also in charge of the Carbon Neutral by 2050 plan for Tufts. And what I really wanna say about Select is two things. One is they are incredibly tenacious. We have a really um, rich, engineering team at Tufts and they they work hard at um, uh, reviewing everything that we do in terms of our carbon neutral plan and um, Select really hung in there with them, went through every detail, answered every question. And the second thing about Select was that they're really creative. Um, we started out with solar panels on one building, we ended up with solar panels on two buildings and a battery um, and a connection to our central energy plant, which is extremely complicated, um, but Select just kept working with us to make it more, you know, valuable for us from a renewable energy point of view. So, um, I just I'm really happy that we're working with them, and they're they're really helping us on our on our path to carbon neutrality. Well, you you give them great commendation, and so let's bring in um, uh, Alex Keeley, Senior Vice President of Energy Solutions at Select Energy. Alex, congratulations! And Hello. I mean, there are other you know, solar companies out there. What do you think you do that's different? Um, well, first wanted to thank Ruth for those uh, very kind words. Um, we are tenacious, uh, so I, I like that um, description. Um, and uh, and I do think we're creative. So, you know, we, I think we started um, Select. I, I didn't, that wasn't one of the founders, but I joined shortly after it was founded and, um, we looked out at what was else what else was in the market and there were a lot of uh, residential solar companies from big national companies to very small local ones and there were a lot of um, companies focusing on utility scale solar really finding open uh, green land and, and covering them with solar panels and uh, we said well wh what about something in the middle how about all those big open roofs everywhere um, wouldn't that be a great place for solar? And there weren't a lot of companies doing that because it is hard. You have to deal with um, sometimes very uh, demanding customers, right? And you have to um, deal with scales that aren't as big as they can get with utility scale, but aren't as cookie cutter and repeatable as some of the residential um, customers get. So we, we've gravitated towards what everyone in the industry said was the really hard sector. And we went there early and, and stuck there since. Well, and we, we understand, yes, you work with big corporations, big buildings, I have some questions about that, but also you donate a lot to small organizations that might not be able to afford your services. Yeah, how have you ridden this, this really bumpy uh, wave, you know, of solar is everything and then, no oh, wait, solar is not, anything and then solar is everything again and um you know along with that the grants that people get um the understanding that they have that it might actually make a difference how have you navigated that we've uh we, we call it the solar coaster because it's always going up and down and the incentives go up and down and we get hit with um instead of disappearing and then new ones coming and um and COVID and it, 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 there's always something. Um, but we've really, um, we treat our employees like their family. We try to keep everyone um, doing well and, uh, but understanding that sometimes there are tough times that we go through and we um, pull together, uh, but we've always avoided laying off people um, and instead said, let's, let's figure out all together how we can get through any rough patches. Um, but, uh, um, you know, the beginning of the pandemic was the first time we had to lay any people off. Um, but we kept that to a minimum. We furloughed people for a couple months and then we're able to bring everyone back. Well, that's great. Um, and it does seem as if that you are on a bit of the, an upswing, um, as far as how solar is regarded, but then you have, you know, hot water heaters or what, you know, and the questions about new England, um, let's say someone had an illegal but grandfathered shed roof <laughs> and their fear is 
that usually every year about a foot of snow melts and then freezes and then falls down and takes everything in its path with it, asking for a friend. Um, can, I mean, are there situations where people can't have solar because it won't, it'll be brought down by ice, it'll be, I mean, what about the specific questions that people in New England might have? Sure, I mean, we get those questions all the time. Uh, and yeah, there are some places where it's just not wise to put solar panels, but there are many, many more where it makes total sense. And um, yeah, everyone thinks, well, here in New England, we get cloudy days. And sure, you get cloudy days most of the world, but um, we just plan for it. We can look at the weather um, history and put that into the forecast, and it still makes sense. Um, here in New England, especially, we have very high electric rates. Um, we're um, you know, tenacious in, in uh, fighting every new energy piece of infrastructure. Um, including gas lines and transmission lines. And so we have expensive electricity. Um, so it makes solar make even more sense, um, despite you know not having the sun of Arizona or Florida. Yeah. How much do you have to be, instead of just a utility that goes out and installs something, uh, an educator? Oh, that's 90% uh, of our job, I would say. The, the really hard part is educating people about all the benefits and risks and gaining their trust because it's a, it's a big investment, whether it's somebody's um, dollars that they're putting into a, a project or um, committing to allowing us on their property for, for 20 years, selling them electricity. It's a, it's a major commitment. So that's the biggest part is um, educating people about how it all works and getting their understanding and then um, not to belittle what all our installers do in the field every day, but uh, um, once we've got someone's understanding, then uh, putting put, installing the system seems easy in some ways. Well, I think if he knew how to work the chat, I'm not sure he does, you'd be getting a big uh, hooray from uh, Lori Hamill and the Longfellow Clubs, because I believe you've got your solo panels up there keeping tennis players warm. So uh, Alex Keeley, thanks so much, senior. VP of Energy Solutions at Select Energy, um, our energy recipient. Thank you so much.